Hey guys, my name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I am so happy to have you here today. In today's video, I'm going to share with you 14 of my favorite Valentine's Day DIYs that you can do in 2024. So if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Also giving me a big thumbs up it really helps me out here on YouTube. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. This first DIY is so quick and easy, but I think it is so sweet and fun to make. It is perfect for a Valentine's Day or even a little girl's nursery. You can find these wooden box frames at Dollar Tree in the plus section. They are $3. Dollar Tree also carries these foam roses in a six pack, and they have several different colors. I'm gonna grab one pack of each color. Then I'm going to paint my wooden frame with Waverly White Chalk paint, but you can paint any color that you like. Now this particular box frame will hold four of your roses in a row. So I'm just going to glue down my first color, four in a row. I started with this dark pink, and if you have a dual temp glue gun, you can use the low temp. The high temp will melt the bottom of your foam rose, but honestly, you won't even notice it since it is glued down to the back of this frame. Once I'm done with my first row, I start on my second. For my second row it'll be two different colors like you see as I'm just using the six roses till I run out and then beginning on the next color. The top row for the cream colored ones is just the four and here's what that looks like. Then I'm going to take some of this beautiful lace trim from Dollar Tree and just glue it all along the sides of my frame. So one thing of trim will get you all the way around your frame. Just cut off the excess and here's what this looks like. Again, I think this is so pretty. You could even put a little string of lights weaved in between these roses and it would be absolutely gorgeous. Quick and easy. Now here is a fun idea. This one is super customizable as well. Dollar Tree had these little mini trio planters in the garden section. They came three to a pack. I'm going to give them all a base coat of Waverly White and then choose three different colors of pink that I like. But you can choose any colors that you like and paint each planter one of the colors of pink. Then I'm going to put some little pieces of foam inside of each planter section and stack them on top of each other like so. Next, I grab several bunches of roses in different colors from the Dollar Tree and cut them down to size. Then I'm just going to begin placing them inside of the foam in each section of my little planters here. This is so fun and easy to do and I think it is so pretty. Remember, you can customize your planter colors and also your florals and your floral colors. But here is what this looks like. You can even do like I did and get a Dollar Tree glass candlestick paint it white and put your whole planter grouping on top of it to elevate it and I think this just looks so gorgeous for a vignette or even a centerpiece. Let's talk about today's challenge. It's hosted by myself and my friend Brenda over at Rustic and Lace DIY. It is called For the Love of Crafting. Each month we do a themed collaboration and this month we are doing an open challenge so basically you can craft anything you like. I decided to do my best 14 Valentine's Day DIYs but you'll have to check out Brenda's channel. She's amazing. I will have it linked below as well as the playlist so that you can check out all of these other amazing ladies and see what they shared with you. Okay, let's jump into another quick and easy Dollar Treat DIY. This one is a really pretty banner that looks awesome on a mantle or a wall. So I'm going to be using my crochet lace from Dollar Tree. Also this banner from Dollar Tree that has six sections and some Dollar Tree vinyl. This vinyl comes in a small roll, but you can find it with the larger rolls. Also, I found these little glittery hearts at Dollar Tree. There were multiple to a pack, and I just trimmed this one down to be the same size so I could use it as a template. I then traced it and cut several hearts out of my vinyl. 
I'm going to be sticking these hearts to the middle of each banner section. Now, if you had iron-on vinyl, you could totally use that. These stuck on okay. They never fell off, and I had them up for quite a while, so this works just fine. Once that is done, I'm going to be trimming out the bottom of each one of these sections with this beautiful heart-shaped crochet lace, just using a little bit of hot glue to tack it down, and then cutting off the excess and moving on to the next one. This DIY is so easy and so quick, but I think it is absolutely adorable, super sweet, and would even look so cute in a little girl's nursery or bedroom. So there is that idea for you. Now, here is an idea. Let's make a jar full of conversation hearts. You can find this huge jar at Dollar Tree, and you can also find this hanging string of hearts at Dollar Tree. These were shaped like little donuts, so cute. I removed them from their string, and I removed all of the embellishments off of this large jar. I'm also going to be removing the top piece, that tin piece, and setting it aside to put it on the other side. I'm going to paint the back side with Waverly White Chalk Paint and then reattach the top. Next, I'm going to move on to my heart pieces. I'm going to paint each one a different color, but you could paint them any color you like. These are just the different colors that I so happen to choose for mine. Here's what that looks like. And then I'm going to be attaching them all onto this jar. So I just figure out the arrangement before gluing them down. I'm going to be placing four down and then placing one on the top overlapping in the middle. So this is the way I chose to do mine. And then I'm gonna use hot glue to secure them down once I have them all figured out. This is so quick, easy, and fun. You could even use smaller hearts if you wanted to, but I really like the idea of these Jumbo Conversation hearts. Now we're gonna add a bow to the top of this using some ribbon that we had left over from Christmas, just creating a little loop, pinching it in the middle, scrunching it down, and we're gonna tie that middle down. Then of course, we're going to dovetail our tails to give us a beautiful boutique finish, and our bow is ready to attach to our jar. Just securing that down with some hot glue. And then I am going to be adding words to my conversation hearts. You can do this with your Cricut or with stickers or stencils or rub-on transfers, whatever you prefer. I also did take a small felt sticker that I got in a large pack from Dollar Tree and add it to the top where that other hole was just to cover it up. And here's what my large jar full of conversation hearts looks like. So cute. All right, let's move on to another idea. This one is so quick, if you blink, you might miss it, but it is absolutely adorable. So you're going to need two of these little candy dishes from the Dollar Tree and one candlestick from the Dollar Tree. They come in a glass clear color, but I had painted mine with Waverly White chalk paint. You're gonna to wanna to remove the stickers from the candy dishes. These are so pretty. They almost look resiny to me, and they have like a glitter inside of them. I'm going to take my candlestick, flip it upside down, and glue it inside of one of my hearts. This is what that should look like. Then I'm going to add some hot glue to the bottom of the candlestick, which is the top, and I'm going to attach my next candy dish. You could use some E6000 or Gorilla glue if you liked, but this worked fine for me. And here is what this looks like, the quickest, easiest little adorable stand that you can put in a small space or a vignette. Adorable on a budget. Here is an idea. Let's create an inexpensive, adorable sign that is honestly good for all year and very customizable. The Dollar Tree is selling these large framed signs that are made of faux wood. They also sell these large MDF words. I found this word home with a heart at the end and it fit perfectly inside of this frame. I painted the inside of the frame with Waverly White chalk paint. I cut the tag off of my home word and I'm preparing to paint this. I use Waverly Ballet Slipper and Waverly Salary Chalk Paint, but you can use any chalk paint that you like or any paint that you like. Once it is done, this is what it should look like and I'm going to use hot glue to attach it to the inside of this little sign here. You can have this done in just a couple of minutes and it really has a high impact. You can 
hang it up or have it stand in a vignette. If you wanted to add some blocks to the back so it was freestanding, you could do that. Or you could remove the back of a picture frame and add it on there so this stood up. I did distress it lightly with Waverly White Chalk Paint, but that is optional. Okay, here is another idea for you. This little Love Goes Here sign was so fun to make and I started with this I am rooting for you wooden sign and also a wooden heart. These are both from Dollar Tree. I remove all tags and hangers and then I'm going to cut these little sprouts off of this pot just using some scissors that I had to get it started and then just bending that piece back and forth and it will snap off. I painted my pot with Waverly Celery and I painted my heart with Waverly White. Then I'm going to attach my little pot to my heart with hot glue. I did paint the two tiny hearts on top of my pot with Waverly Ballet Slipper, but I ended up covering them up. Next, I'm going to use two more packs of these foam roses, and I'm going to just glue them down on top of this arrangement here in a way that I think looks pretty. As you can see, I had to try a couple times to get my perfect placement, but again, if you have a dual temp glue gun, use a low temp. If not, it will melt the bottom of the foam a little bit, but that is okay it's just going to attach to your heart and so I filled it in as much as I liked and here's what it looks like I will be coming in with some smaller roses just to fill it out a little bit more but here's the general idea. Now I'm going to take some more of this heart lace ribbon from Dollar Tree and put a couple layers across the top of my pot. Here's where I mentioned I have covered up those hearts. You could leave them if you liked I just thought that this was really pretty. So just gluing that down and making sure I have no excess. Here's where I add in the little floral, rose, little foam floral roses from Dollar Tree. They come several to a pack and I'm just adding them here and there to fill this out. I do make a small bow out of this pretty lace and attach it to the corner of my sign as well as reattaching my hanger and here's what this looks like. I use my Cricut to add the phrase, love grows here, but you could use stickers or ribbon transfers if you wanted. Okay, here is another idea. I made this love grows fast in little houses just like this sign using Dollar Tree items. I found this Dollar Tree house in the Crafter Square and another one of these long framed signs from the Crafter Square, both $1.25. I'm going to paint the inside of the sign with Waverly White Chalk Paint. Here's what that should look like. Next, I'm going to remove the hanger from my house and paint my house with Waverly Ballet Slipper Chalk Paint. I did a very generous coat. Here's what these two pieces should look like. Now I have a bunch of Dollar Tree roses that I cut off the stem and I'm going to glue my house down to my sign using hot glue. Once that is done, I will begin pulling the stems and the leaves off of each rose and gluing them down onto the open space of this long sign. I do try to alternate colors and make sure I'm getting a nice variety in there and that I don't have too many of one color bunched together. I continue this process until all of the white on that longer sign is covered. I think I used about one bunch in each color and I had three different colors. So this is still very affordable and if you wanted to spread them out a little bit more, you could totally do that. Here's what that should look like so far. Now I'm just gonna take some more of that Dollar Tree Heart Lace and I'm going to trim out the roof of my house. I just glue it down carefully using some hot glue and here is what that should look like. Next, you just add in your phrase. I got mine from Cricut Design Space, but you know what I'm gonna say. There are tons of different ways to add words to a sign. And here is what it looks like. I think it is so cute and adorable, and it only cost me a few dollars to make. Also, remember to customize these colors to your style to make this project your own. And moving right along into the next one, I'm going to make this a tall house sign with some pretty hearts on it using Dollar Tree items. I found this long house shaped sign with the heart cutouts at Dollar Tree for $1.25 and also these little grapevine hearts. 
The sign was already white, but I didn't like the off-white, so I painted it with Waverly White chalk paint. And here is what that looks like as a base, but use any color you like. Next, I'm going to trace out the inside of these grapevine hearts on top of this sign so I know where to paint. Then I'm going to remove the hearts and paint in my little traced lines. I'm using Waverly Ballet Slipper and Waverly Celery chalk paint, but again, use any color that you like. And once my paint is dry, I can re attach my heart right on top of the little painted hearts. I just used hot glue to do this. Just be careful of your fingers and you might have to hold it down for a second, but this looks absolutely adorable. Once you're done with that, I went ahead and added some jute twine to the top and bottom by just gluing it down and wrapping it around several times, and this just gives you a little extra touch. I thought the sign needed something because it was so long and skinny, but this is totally optional. You absolutely do not have to do this. I just thought it looked pretty, but you could do this any way that you like. You could even use a pink or a green yarn. So the sky is the limit. I also came in with some of this pitberry garland that I found at Dollar Tree and wrap this around a couple of times as well. Next I'm just going to add back in the hanger so I can hang the sign and then you are pretty much done. Quick and easy on a budget. I hope that you liked this one and now let's move into our next idea. This is another sign idea, but this one is also really easy to make and quite fun. I love the colors with this one, but you can change them up. I found this wooden hanging heart sign and also another one of these large framed signs. I painted my frame sign with Waverly Ballet Slipper, and then I took my hearts apart and painted them with Waverly Celery Chalk Paint. I am going to glue each heart to the front of this vinyl that we used earlier in the video. It is from Dollar Tree. It comes in this little strip, and it is just so pretty. So I'm just going to attach the heart right on the front of that with some hot glue, and then just trim off the excess of the vinyl that way my heart is framing out this pretty paper of course I'm going to repeat this for each one of my four hearts and here is what they should look like Next, I'm going to glue them to my prepared sign using some hot glue. Now, they won't all fit exactly, so you will have to stagger one of them. I chose to stagger the love just by placing all three of the other ones down first and then adding the love on top, just going over a little bit of that I and that U, and here's what that looks like. Next, I'm gonna use some leftover Christmas ribbon to create four little bows, one for the top of each heart. I'm just going to cinch them in the middle and glue them down to the top of my hearts. I think this is absolutely adorable, but of course you could skip this step if you wanted to. I just like the way that it covered up the holes in the top of the hearts. Of course, once my bows were formed, I did trim the bottoms to look nice. And then here I am just attaching them with some hot glue. Here's what it should look like when they're all attached. And then here is what my sign looks like standing up. I think it is so pretty. Okay, here's another quick and easy idea. Dollar Tree sells these heart-shaped paper doilies that come many to a pack. Here's what it looks like. This one has a 24 in it. And I love this pink color. So I'm going to take four of them and I'm going to be creating a placemat of sorts that is disposable but looks pretty for a Valentine's Day tablescape. So I'm just gluing two together, tip to tip. And then I'll take the third one and lay it on top and then just attach with hot glue where the heart's attached if that makes sense and then I will add in my fourth one this is literally so quick and easy and you could even have a child help you they could use Elmer's glue and that would work just as easily but look how pretty this looks under my Dollar Tree chargers I think it is just adorable to jazz up a tablescape Okay, this next one is a memory idea. So if you have a lost loved one or someone you want to remember around the holidays, here's an idea for you. I have some more of those doilies and a wooden heart from Dollar Tree, which I removed the hanger from. I'm mod podging over my wooden heart and then I'm just laying out some of these doilies so that they overlap each other. I am going off of the heart because I am going to trim that out later, but I mainly just want a solid part of the doily. Now, when you trim off the excess. Don't throw that away. You could totally roll that up and use it to make some beautiful paper roses. 
but I am just going to continue my podging and layering until my entire heart is covered. And since these come so many to a pack, you can make a whole bunch of these quick and easy on a budget. Once I get my entire heart covered, I am going to go over it with Mod Podge. It will look a little funky until it dries completely, but then it looks really pretty. And of course, on camera, it looks a little bit more shiny than it does in real life, but trust me, this is super pretty. So here's where I mentioned trimming off the excess, and you can make some beautiful paper roses. But here is what this is going to look like. Now I'm going to trim it out with some more of that beautiful heart lace ribbon from Dollar Tree. Just by adding some hot glue and then pressing my ribbon into the hot glue all the way around this heart. This is what it should look like and then just trim off the excess and you have a beautiful framed out heart. Next I'm going to take some of these gorgeous sparkly roses that come on clips. I cut off the clips. They come four to a pack from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue three of them down into a little cluster at the top of my heart and then I'm just taking another little piece of that lace, bunching it up and adding it in with my cluster of roses. So here's what this should look like but this is very customizable you can decorate this any way that you like. Next I have these little clothes pins from Dollar Tree. I'm going to glue one down and that is what you can use to attach your photo. Mine is of my mom. She passed away a few years ago but I love to include her in holidays so there is an idea for you. Here's another quick and easy idea. You can frame out a Dollar Tree gift bag or burlap bag quick and easily and looks really pretty. So I have this Dollar Tree frame. I'm just going to remove the embellishments. These little goodie bags come two to a pack from Dollar Tree. They have them for most holidays, but they fit almost perfectly inside of these little frames. So I am just going to cut one down and remove the back side. So I just have the front decorated hearts. And here I'm just going to insert it into my frame using some mod podge here's what it looks like super inexpensive and it looks great in a vignette okay here is our last and final idea of today's video but i think this is really adorable i made this a couple years ago when i was going through a gnome phase but you can find this large xoxo wooden piece in the valentine's day section and they also have these little gnomes on a pick i'm going to break them off of their sticks and i'm going to be using both of them they do come to do a pack i'm going to paint my word with Waverly Valley slipper and then I'm going to take these little gnomes. I did dress them up a little bit by just gluing their hats down over their noses for just to kind of make it look a little bit better and then here is what he should look like. I added a little bit of Dollar Tree lace to the hat too just to fancy it up but this is optional. You could add some little foam roses or hearts whatever you think just to get this exactly the way that you want it but this is what I did to to mine just hot gluing little dabs until I can attach that lace and just trim off the excess. Here's what my little gnome friend looks like and all that is left to do is attach our gnomes where our O's go using some hot glue and then you have an adorable little hanging sign which I think is so so cute. You could even cover your sign with scrapbook paper or fabric so the sky is the limit and I hope you like this idea. Also remember, the color is super customizable. So that is it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I truly appreciate you. If you are new to my channel, please stick around by subscribing. If you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell button so you're notified every time that I upload. Also giving me a thumbs up really helps me out here on YouTube. Take care and Happy New Year's, friends.